serious question. I've asked a lot of players this, but the transition from playing to not playing. Um, I believe that players are not prepared enough for this. They don't know what's out there. We've been spoiled playing football. You know, we've, we've woken up and given a, a two-week plan. You know, people pack our bags for us. We've fed, and all that stops. How have you found the transition, and what advice can you give, not just to footballers, maybe to professional sportsmen in general, that what is coming and how to be better prepared for that? I don't, I don't know which clubs you play for, but I never had my bag packed for okay. me. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Big dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but um, seriously, I think uh, 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 owners of clubs don't prepare us. They don't, they don't prepare us holistically for what's about to come. You have your, your uh, career life, then you have your afterlife. And I think uh, players uh, psychologically are not prepared for it. Um, there's a massive difference between um, being your all-round athlete um, who's adored by fans, uh, you're bringing in an income, um, you're getting phone calls from journalists, you're in demand. And then all of a sudden, that gets taken away from you. That stops, yeah. And uh, a lot of players are not prepared for it. Uh, and I think that's got to change sooner rather than later. Um, I remember speaking to Gary Bailey about this, and he and Derek Blankensee will echo what I'm saying. And Gary, after training, when he was playing at Wits, used to go for speech classes. And, and Derek used to say, what, what are you doing? He says, because one day I'm going to be on TV. Yeah. And look at him now. You know, he anchored Supersport. He's now based in Miami. And I think that's more of an attitude that players need to have these days, is uh, a more awareness of what's, you know, that transition. It, it's pretty hectic. Eh? Sure. We, um, you know, football has always been a working class sport, yeah. um, as opposed to rugby and cricket who come from most of them have got university degrees. They've got the old boys network to rely on once they're finished playing. Um, we don't have that. Uh, we've never had that and we probably never will have that. But, but that doesn't mean that we can't change that kind of attitude. Uh, the players union has to come to the party. But more importantly, the players themselves. Um, I recently sat with um, an ex-player who made a very uh, good point in the fact that we have to start respecting ourselves so that corporate South Africa can start respecting us. Fair enough. And um, you know, as soon as we start changing that perception, uh, the better.